Howdy, y'all. Hi, guys. It's Ryan. And Angela. From RA Music. That's right. Your favorite mom and pop guitar shop and That's lesson studio. Also, right. That's probably more right. <laughs> yeah. That's true. We're all the above or true. And we are here to answer your questions. Let's get to it. First question Todd Bogley. Hey, Todd. That's quite a long question, Todd. I'm not going to read all of that because. <laughs> We did read all of it. I did read it, but I'm yes. not going to read it out loud. Yes. I like that he said brain fart. Yeah. Who said what? Oh. He said brain fart. Oh. <laughs> uh, so Todd's question is, so I have a question for all y'all at RNA, LOL. What does, when does one decide to call it quits with a band? Mm. A group, I mean gigs every so often, once or twice a month. Uh, yet scheduling rehearsals is worse than herding cats. Or flurkins. Yeah. Hurting flurkins. Hurting, not hurting. Hurting. <laughs> uh, if one person isn't able to make a chosen day of the week, two others aren't able to make the other days, so on and so forth. So he kind of goes on to explain there's quite a bit of lot, drama lot and of scheduling problems and issues. And, yeah, issues so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so when do you decide to call it quits in a band like that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because he says he does have other projects and other things he can do, but... Right. You know, um... But this one sc scratches the Scratches the itch. itch of playing out live, I guess. Yeah. Um, making a little bit of money doing it. But yeah. You know... <clears throat> that's a great question, man. Mm-hmm. And that's going to be different for different people, because different people have different tolerances for right. BS. Yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> Um, so, I don't know, it's just, uh, you know, once your frustration level gets to, you know, maximum, when it becomes not worth it for you anymore, that's when you quit. Yeah. I don't wait until it's like here. I wait until it's about here <laughs> before I, you know, say, time out. This isn't fun for me anymore. Because usually when it's here... I say things that I shouldn't say and I um, wear myself out and I, it turns into like, I just got to get out of this, you know? And really, I just have to cap it off right about here. And even here, to me, is a lot, you know? So, like Ryan said, you have to really just kind of gauge your audience. And if you're best friends with them or you're just kind of acquaintance with them, I mean, this is all you do together. You don't spend any quality time. I mean, if you have like, like Ryan and Paul, when it, when it's them, they're like, Hey, I don't, I just don't have time for this, you know, or yeah, I'm gonna take a break from this. And each one understands because of the life that they live and how busy both of them are. They understand that. So I would take, I mean, if you have that kind of relationship, just be honest with them. That's, that's the mm -hmm. only thing you can sit the one guy aside that, or the gal who is kind of helps you do it or is in charge, or if you're in charge, you can just tell them like, Hey guys, y'all can keep on going if you want to, but I'm going to, I'm going to take, I'm going to take a break from this. So that's what I would do. Yeah. Just be honest. Just and, be honest. And nice, you know. Yeah, and if it's <laughs> frustrating, you know, that, you know, it would be an ideal to have a set time, right? Like, mm -hmm. so the only, the only band I play in right now is I play a church band, right? Right. And, uh, you know, it's, we have set practices. It's like Tuesday nights at seven. This mm -hmm. is band practice. We got to do this because we got, you know, we got to play on Sunday. Right. So we got to make sure we don't look stupid not being able to play the song. So like every week it's just kind of like, hey, this is what practice is. Mm-hmm. If you're going to be in the band, you got to come to practice. So I, I find it interesting, you know, how it just depends on how seriously people take things. Like if you're playing for money, like if you're playing for paying gigs, yeah, seems like, you know, you would take that kind of seriously, but you know, depends on if, know. I, if it's just like, you know, scratch money, it's not like. Oh man, oh, hey, this money. is actually paying for my car or, you know, this is, this supplements for our, our house payment and not a lot of people do that. So like Ryan said, they're not going to take it seriously. Yeah. Not a priority. Uh, <clears throat> so, um, but yeah, and I was thinking something while you were saying that, that whenever, you know, talking, talking to them and being honest about, 
you know, how you feel. But if you want this to keep going, that's what I was going to say. If you want this to keep going, then tell them. It's like, hey, I think we have a good thing going. I think that we have a good sound. I think that we can actually, you know, break into this market in our town and maybe the county or maybe even the state or otherwise region. region, YouTube, whatever your goal is, then I would say, listen, if we, and if y'all are all on the same page with me, then, Hey, let's really nail down these practices. Cause I think we have something special here. And, and then, and then you can kind of gauge where, how everybody is feeling. So if they're like, yeah, I don't really care about this. Or if you have people that are like, you know, you're taking this way too serious, man. And then you're like, okay, no wonder this is not clicking. Yeah. So then you can make your final decision on say, well then no hard feelings, but you know, I'm out because I have yeah. other things that I, I'd, I'd like to use my time, you know, purposeful time for. You have to run it like a business. I mean, most success, all successful bands mm -hmm. run it like a business. Mm -hmm. You punch in, we have commitments, you do your work, you show up and do your thing and then, you know. Right. Hopefully well, it's fun the too. Keyword is successful. Successful. Successful bands. Yes. Take things seriously. Yes. Um, thanks for the question, man. I hope, mm -hmm. hope that helps. Good luck. <laughs> uh, Steven Scharf for the next question. Hey guys, quick little thought in my head. You, you do Schechter guitars. Have you guys right. ever got a ESP LTD dealership yet? And I think I commented on there. I was like, yeah, I think we just talked about that. Like literally yeah. a week or two ago. And uh, no, not yet. Maybe. I keep saying maybe. It would make sense, but not yet. <laughs> as much as they talks about them. As much as I talk about it. But, you know. Yeah. We're already bought in with other companies. Mm -hmm. So when you, when you bring on a new company, there's a buy-in. Right. That you have to put up a fairly large chunk of money up front because they want you to buy a certain amount of stuff to get started. Right. And then after that, you can order ones at a time sometimes if you want, or two at a time, or three at a time, or smaller amounts. But that initial buy-in is a pretty big chunk. Right. And we're already dealers for several other companies. Mm -hmm. So to take a big chunk, several thousands of dollars, and give it to a new company who we've never carried before, Versus I could just take that much and just buy thousands of dollars of the brands we already carry. It's kind of like, you know, as much as I like them and I don't have a problem with ESP guitars or LTD guitars and I own one and Metallica plays them and all that stuff. I think that's why we've never done it because we've already had so much money wrapped up in other places and it's like, you know, and we've seen what worked for us and what didn't work. And it's like, well, I, ESP is still an <laughs> unknown. Like, will it sell locally? I don't know. I don't know if people in Canton, Texas will buy ESP guitars. Right. Can we sell them online? I don't know. There's a million people selling them online already. So yeah. so it's sort of a gamble. And it's like, well, we already have other brands. And I could just drop thousands of dollars with these other brands that we already carry. Right. So that's probably why we haven't done it. But right. never say never because I like them. But yeah, never know. There you go, Steven. Thanks, Thanks for the question. Steven. Steve Talamantes with the next question. Angela and Ryan, if you had to change your name, what would it be? And why would you choose that name? Like our name name? Like Angela and Ryan? <laughs> or like our name music? Let's do both. Let's answer both. Okay. So if you could change your personal name from Ryan to something else, what would it be? Oh, what do you think it would be? Uh, Thor? Yeah. James? No. <laughs> I really don't like James as a He'd name. He'd be Hetfield Lolly. <laughs> I wouldn't want to we'll be named Het, it. Het for yeah. short. Call you Jimmy. Yeah. No. No? No. Mm -hmm. We know we know some Jimmy's. Mm -hmm. Hetfield, maybe. That'd but, be uh, kind of cool Hetfield for a first name. First name. That'd Should be a cool first name. Hetfield, <laughs> present. That's a very like yeah yeah. It's like <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a very eighteen hundreds <sighs> name. You know, like they had those, you know, Winstons and mm -hmm. you know those names that sounded like last names. Yeah. You know, Harrison. Odin would be cool. Harrington, you know. Well, actually, we have a student whose dad's name is Odin. I'm like, yeah. that's awesome. My great grandfather's. And her great grandfather's name was Odin. I'm like, mm -hmm. <laughs> that's cool. Yeah, I, I, I Thor. I just change it to Thor. <laughs> That'd be great. What would you change your name? Well, to? What would I change? I never really, I've never thought about it. I've never ever thought about it because I like Angela. Um, I, I'm attached to Ryan after all these years. <laughs> I kind of like it. I do. I've never. Um, 
I don't know. I, actually, one year, like in the seventh grade, um, I I used to just like fool with people because I'm like, you're so stupid. Um, people so, are dumb and people you want to test the limits and of their so dumbness. And so someone asked me, asked my name, I said, um, actually it's Angelica with a J, a C-K-A at the end. Maybe, and I was like, we have it as Angela, like the traditional way, because most people can't spell it right. So it's just Angela for my name. And my middle name is Kay. I said, but it's really Catherine. Like I had this whole backstory and I was like in the seventh grade and I was just like looking at them like, and they were like, wow, okay. I'm like, <laughs> you're dumb. But um, that's, you that's the only time I've ever really like changed, yes, and changed my name um, or thought about changing my name. Maybe like. Um, I don't know. I, I can't, I honestly, cause I don't really like a lot of names and yeah, I'm yeah, really but... big on meanings. Mm -hmm. So it'd have to be like, what is the, I don't know. What does that name mean? For warrior in other languages, you know, like I would love for like, you know, like if I found like my native country, like, cause I have so many of them, <laughs> but like the countries. main, like the root country, like a, you know, part in Africa or something like that. If I knew what that country was and like warrior, what the word warrior was in that, in that country's language, that's what I would change my name to. There you go. Not Bonnie Quee Quee. No, not like Vanessa or, no, cause that's my mom's name. I don't know why I picked Vanessa. Sorry mom. Vanessa. I love your name, it's beautiful. Um, but not like, you know, cause I know, I have so many women in my, in my family. Like I have Daniels and Ambers and Michelles and Nicoles and Amandas and Dahlias and Veronicas and Vanessas and Alicias and so there, there's so many names already taken in my family. I wouldn't, <laughs> you know, Renee's and Christine's, you know. So I would, I would do something crazy like that, you know. Something out there. Just like Just no because... one would be like, "What is your name?" It means warrior in Swahili, you know. <laughs> like what? That's awesome. Sweet. <clears throat> yeah, you could just call me by, you know, A. <laughs> just call me A. Just call me A. 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 What's up? A. 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 <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I'm a massive Thor fan, so I would do it to that. So what would we call our Change RNA music? Change our name to? Mm. Hammer A and R music. A and R music. <laughs> Hammer of the Gods. Music. Yeah. <laughs> Mjolnir music. Yes. Mjolnir music. Mm -hmm. There we go. Asgardian music. Asgard. Mew, mew music. Yeah. Mew, mew. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. know. That's a tough one. That is. Warrior uh, in Swahili. Yeah. That's what we said. Yeah. <laughs> so we changed Um. Oh, and as yeah. far as why, I don't know. No reason why. Why would you change it? I don't know. I, I, I mean, I guess for the reason why I said it. Yeah. Because I think it would be awesome every time they... Because I believe in naming your children and naming people what you want to call them. Because every time you say their name, you're, you're calling them you're, something. You're calling them something. Um, that's why it's really important to know the meaning of your children's names. Because you could be calling them worthless. Like everybody... And I, no offense to all the Tristans out there. But Tristan, Triste, is sad. Sadness, depression, um, sorrow... So every time you call your child, hey, Tristan, come here. You're saying, come here, sadness. Come here, depression. Come here. You're saying that name. Or Dolores. Dolores. My grandmother's name, Dolores, is Dolor, pain, or Dolores, like, depression, sadness, sorrow. Another, triste and Dolor, you know, is not good. So um, our sons are, like, Nicholas is, um, like, Victory of the no, you're victory of the people. Mm -hmm. Nicholas means victory of the people, and his middle name is Ryan. Um, so Nicholas's middle name is Ryan. Nicholas's middle name is Ryan, so it's victory of the people, little king or king, you know. Mm -hmm. And then Aiden is Aiden Zach after Zach Wild Z A K K. Zach. And Aiden means fiery. Fiery. And Zach or Zachary or Zachariah, it's a you know a, a root from that word means um, God. God will remember. Or of the Lord. No, it's right? remembered of God. Remembered of God. Yes, or God will remember. And it's like, 
every time we call them, we call them something very victorious and we name them like Aiden, we go back and forth <laughs> between firing, depending, I do anyway, depending on what I want him to do. I usually call him when I'm like, Zach, come here. <laughs> I'm like, guys, I don't need fire ready to come because I'm uh, over here. I don't need over. fire right now. I, I don't need... need you to be fire yeah. right now. I need you to be remembered of God. So um, I go back and forth, but I, everyone's like, why did you name him fiery? I'm like, cause I want him to stand for his convictions. I want him to stand up for what's right and stand against what's wrong. And I want him to have a really core belief of that. And he does like, yeah. He hates it when people break the rules. He hate like we were like he's gonna be a policeman or a soldier yeah. or like he is or gonna people lie. He yeah, hates it when, he people, hates are when lying. people lie. He just hates it, and I love that about him because I've been speaking that over him since he was a baby. And Nicholas is exactly the same way. He is he is a people person. He loves people, and um, and Aiden is not so much a people person. He does he he interacts pretty well, but. It's, it's so important. So if we ever change names or, you know, why we would change names, it's, you know, it's because we know the purpose of the name and we would be very specific about the name. Just like RNA Music, Ryan and Angela Music. There's a Ryan means, you know, king. And Angela means messenger of God. So we, perp you know, whenever we say, you know, our name, we are calling that out into What's the world. What's K mean? K, Catherine. It has to do with like ruler or something because you know that's why a lot of queens picked Catherine, Catherine as their name. It's something like that. I can't remember. I'm gonna Google it real quick. You're gonna Google it. Mine, so mine means little king or king. Ryan. I always knew what Catherine And my middle king. name, Alphys, which is my grandfather's name, so I'm named after my grandfather. I would possibly change it to that just because it's super unique. I used to hate it when I was a kid, but as I got older, got more perspective, I was like, that's pretty rad. I've never met another Alphys anywhere. Yeah. And that means river god. Yes. Or chief of thousands. Yes. Ten thousands. It means like ruler of many. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, yeah. gee, that's, that's super sick. Now that I know what it means, like, ah, oh, you know, river god or chief of ten thousand, something like that. The Latin meaning means pure and clear. But there there's, you go. there's an also a Hebrew derivative of that. For just K-A-Y or cat. Mm-hmm. So go check it out. Go look up what your name means. And if you have a middle name, let's say your first name is Tristan. And you don't want to go by that anymore. And, but your middle name is Ryan. And you're like, you know what? I think I'm going to go by Ryan. I'm going to go by TR or something. Right. You know what I mean? Names, names matter, you know? I don't think we think about that much in today's societies. But it's always mattered, I think, going back a long, long time. You know, so... Put some thought into it. <laughs> Sir Kay it goes back to um, King Arthur. Legends of King Arthur. Mm. It was a knight in the round table. Keeper of the keys. Keeper of the Wa keys. Watcher of the gate. Messenger of God. Watcher of the gate. Keeper of the keys. Angela K. <laughs> there you go. But I never I never use K. Like ever. A little history lesson for y'all. There you go. Yeah. She calls me Ryan Alphys sometimes. Yes, I do. Ryan Alphys. But <laughs> yes, yes, your, your kingly yes, river, love. your kingly river god is here. <laughs> what can I do? I'm sworn to carry your burdens. <laughs> Thanks for the question, Steve. Let's move on. We're on a time. Yes, table. we are. Oh, sorry, crunch, crunch, crunch. We were gonna like shorten all these, but apparently we're not. It's not how we're Art doing. monk. Next question. Art monk. Hey Ryan, what are your thoughts on have you played a Washburn HB35? Thanks. Hashtag KTMA. Hashtag Get to the Chopper. Nice. That was the hashtag from the yes. weekend before, but he got her get to the chopper there. Because we did, I don't think we put a... I did put yeah, a... Yeah, we did. I did in the last one. I In text, I didn't say it, but it was hashtag yeah. weekends for last week. Secret okay. secret word of the day. Mm. Pay attention, y'all. This might pay off at one point. <laughs> um, hey, they're great. I can't remember the last time I played one. The HB35 from Washburn is like their, their 335 Gibson style... You know, semi-hollow kind of thing. Mm -hmm. They're good guitars. Quite underrated, I think. Um, and most people don't think about them as a little jazz box type guitars. But they're really good. Yeah. I've, you know, I don't really play those kind of guitars personally that much. But I've, I've really only ever heard good things about the HB35s. Now, we might have ordered one for somebody. I think we did, actually, a long time ago. Sounds right. So, uh, good guitars. 
No complaints there. Yeah. Thanks for the question, Art Monk. Sweet. Next question. Highway to hell, 96792. 90210. Aww. 96792. Aww. Is that a zip code? Highway to hell? 96792? He says, or she says, I was searching for the baseball style RNA shirts that you were wearing in some older videos, but couldn't mm. find it. Any chance of bringing it back? Ooh. Oh man, it's been a while. Oh, Lee, the green one? Is it the green? Was it the green? There was a white with green sleeves, baseball tee. Mm -hmm. Maybe. I like, I like those I shirts. I like baseball tees. Probably when the weather kind of changes. It's about to be <clears> springtime. <throat> Mm -hmm. As uh, Art fun. Lundwall fun. has reminded me every yes. single day for the last year. Since summer ended. <laughs> it's like 278 days till springtime. I'm like, Art, just let me enjoy. Autumn. Yeah. It's like 19 days and 17 hours until springtime. I'm like, Art loves him some springtime. Yes, he I loves him some what. warm weathers. He does. But I guess if you grew up in Montana in the freezing cold, you would like some warm weather too, but yeah. possibly, possibly we'll bring those back mm -hmm. um, as we get a little bit deeper into spring. It's going to be 70 degrees today. I can't I know. know. And like three days ago, it was 20 degrees. So humid attack. Texas is a little schizo on the weather right now, but right. Anyways, yeah, we we might bring those back again. Mm -hmm. uh, thanks for the question. Stephen Scharf with another question. Stephen hey. says, hey guys, there's one. What do you think of Warren Haynes as a guitar player and musician? Also, what do you think of Dave Navarro as a guitar player? LOL. I wonder what the LOL is about. <laughs> <clears throat> and uh, thank you for taking time to listen to Xavier Rudd. We listen to him in the evening when we want to chill and just That's have really a calm good. evening. Question for Angela. Have you listened to Sarah Brightman? My wife would like to know. Sarah Brightman is would like. Would like to know. Would like to know. Sarah Brightman is one of her favorite singers of all time. Really good free subscription for downloading music of Spotify. Allows you to download full albums and make your own files. Yeah. Yeah, but Spotify rips off the musicians. Yeah. So it's good for the consumer. Terrible for the artist. Mm. Really, really is. Like 0. 0.00008 so it's like cents. Napster. It's, yeah. <laughs> Slightly not as bad as Napster, but... Yeah, well, not we're paying as you because they're not getting sued. We're paying you, <laughs> yeah, point zero 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 eight cents per play. That thanks. That sucks. And seven billion views, I'll make like five dollars. Yeah, so awesome. <laughs> um, Warren Haynes, great killer guitar player. I'm, I'm not, I'm not real big into like a lot of that stuff. You know, southern rock kind of vibe mm -hmm. stuff. But I've mm -hmm. seen some videos, and you know, I don't dislike that, but. It's not my main bag, but he's great. He's fantastic. Uh, Dave Navarro is a guitar player. Phone. Thank you. Saved me. I haven't heard of Dave Navarro in a long time. <laughs> I'm not a fan of Dave Navarro, mm -hmm. personally. I mean, I never really listened to Jane's Addiction much. Mm -hmm. And when he was in Chili Peppers, I was like, hmm, that's interesting. But uh, I'm not really a big fan, you know. I've watched a video somewhere of him. I like his PRS. So he had a white PRS. And I thought, that's a cool guitar. Mm -hmm. So I liked his signature PRS. But I'm not a, a really big fan. Uh, I've watched some instructional videos where he's talking about the guitar. And I'm like, he was either like playing dumb. Like, I really don't know anything. I just play. I'm sort of like... Yeah, like he doesn't know scales or doesn't mm. know the names of notes. And he just he just plays. I'm like, he's either lying about that or it's not him playing on the records. Because there is a whole lot of records out there where people played on them. Mm -hmm. And when the the guy left the building, they brought in the real musician. And like, oh. hey, fix all these guitar parts. Okay. Somebody who <laughs> really can play and really knows their crap. Well, that sucks. It does suck, but that's like... Uh, they're yeah. like, oh, good job. Yeah, yeah excellent, I played on man. that record. Excellent, like, yeah, it wasn't, they're like, okay. That really second, wasn't you, Dave. That was Phil X. We had to call Phil X in here at midnight to come play your parts. Right. And, but you don't know. Sorry. You know. So I don't know. You know. Um, <laughs> not a big Dave Navarro fan, personally. Just me. Is that what the LOL was for? I guess so. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, there was like, you know what my favorite guitar player is? Dave Navarro. 
Like he usually doesn't make the list. Never heard like that. Like Jimmy Page, <laughs> Dave Navarro, <laughs> Jimi Hendrix, Dave Navarro. Yeah. You know. Yeah, that's enough time on Dave Navarro. Yeah. Okay. That's good. Uh, have you listened <laughs> to Sarah Brightman? Yes. Of course. Yes. Have I listened to her? If you've heard Phantom of the Opera. Okay. Ever. I have. And then, and then yeah, you've heard her. Like the movie? No, like the original. Oh. The original. She's the original. Well, I think maybe the original. Christine. Well, she made her famous. Oh. Yeah. She has a okay. gorgeous voice. Gorgeous. Yes. Mm hmm. My cousin um, in New York actually saw Sarah Brightman in concert like a week ago, I think. Wow. And so she was at, it wasn't Madison, where was it? Radio City Music Hall. And she was up in the, and she recorded her. And she did a couple of Phantom of the Opera songs. And that was pretty cool. How old is she? Sarah Brightman. Mm -hmm. mm, 50s? Something? 60s? Okay. Maybe? She's not young. No. No, she's not young. Mm -mm. She's no Dave Navarro. No, she was, I think she was in her 20s in the 80s or something like that when she was played Christine. That makes sense. But, um, so... So yeah, oh gosh, yeah, I've heard heard of her. She's amazing. Like she is the queen of Broadway and musicals and stuff like that. And Angela so. loves her some Broadway musicals. I do. She really. So do. yes, I do know who Sarah Brightman is. There and I, you go. <laughs> Ryan, we were, Ryan was reading the message and he texted me. One of the questions is for you. Do you know who Sarah Brightman is? I was like, yes! Exclamation point. Of course. Uh, yeah. You don't. <laughs> and I was like, why? <laughs> Just uh, making sure. I thought maybe you need to go pull her up on YouTube and listen to some songs and give your feedback. No, 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 no. I don't. You I already know her. Yeah. <laughs> I already know her. She did a cover of um, Phantom, uh, some Phantom of the Opera songs with Antonio Banderas. Really? Him and her sang, and he played the Phantom. Interesting. Mm -hmm. He he sang. He didn't play. He sang the part of the Phantom. It's pretty a good. Spanish accent. Mm -hmm. He's a Spanish he did a, Phantom. He did a pretty good job. I mean, Gerard Butler did a great job as Phantom in the movies. Yeah. But Antonio Banderas, we know he can sing. Yeah. You know. That's true. So, anyways, yep. There you go, Stephen. Thanks for the question. Two questions. thumbs up, wife. <laughs> Two thumbs up. <laughs> uh, next question. Just fun guitar. <clears throat> Hi there. Uh, another great episode. Those Solars do look tasty. I have a new USA Les Paul on order, and though, so I gotta wait before I can have anything else. Mm -hmm. I know how those feel. Uh, I need to watch Park and Rec now. Yes, you should. Yes, you do. Everybody new questions. Should. One, what is the state of the local economy in your part of Texas? Two, do you like instrumental artists, or do you prefer bands with vocalists, Ryan? Three, what is Angela's fave metal band? I know she is not a metalhead, but does she like any? Mm -mm. Great questions. Mm -hmm. Just fun guitar. Just fun guitar is the one you crocheted stuff for. Oh. And she just finished the crochet I stuff. I did. Now just to box it up with strings and stuff and shirts and ship it to England. Ship I watched his YouTube channel yesterday. Hey man, I just watched your YouTube channel because it's funny because a lot of people who comment, especially people who leave you crappy comments, like I got one yesterday, I was like, I just deleted them. But then I went today, I looked at, what's this guy's channel? Like, oh, he ain't got no videos. Oh yeah, you're full of critique. Ain't got no videos. Not you. He's not you. Not the other guy. The other dude. Yesterday, it left me need, some crappy you need comments. You to make an actual clear, clear statement. Let me so clarify like, oh, that. To your YouTube videos. Not just <laughs> fun guitars YouTube channel. <laughs> Jerk faces YouTube channel who has left me left me crappy comments. So, anyways, you went to the. <laughs> yeah, I watched. I watched one of his. I was like, oh look, he actually has some videos. Let me watch one. I was like, oh cool. I was like, Gundams. Because he had a whole shelf behind him of like robots. That's right, because like, you asked it what are toys. Yeah, selection. he had a whole shelf. I thought it was Gundams because I immediately could, saw Nicholas's shelf of Gundams. But it was really like Transformers and stuff. So I was like, oh. So I watched one of your videos yesterday, Just Fun Guitar. Awesome. I'll have to check uh, it out. <laughs> yeah. The state of the local economy in your part of Texas. Well, it's pretty good. Yeah. Texas has actually been really good for a while. For a while. We so haven't even when had the national economy recession. was kind of dumping a little bit. Yeah, Texas. Texas has stayed pretty strong, so. <laughs> Never really takes I mean, a dump. you know, <laughs> Texas doesn't take dumps on the economy. <laughs> then the oil goes to crap when it, uh, sometimes it's mm -hmm. a problem. There's a lot of gas and oil industry people in Texas, but right. 
it's always temporary because anytime the price of oil goes up overseas, man, we get busy here. You know, the right. price of oil goes down, you get busy here. So, like, because people always need gas. Yeah. And oil, but. but it seems like around here, there's such a um, wide selection of different businesses um, where you have cattle and you have, um, what, what am I trying to think of? Farming. Mm -hmm. agricultural dairy and dairy and but then you also have just like the free market of just everything else brand new businesses lots of mom and pop shops um mm -hmm. they thrive out here pretty well um so it it's doing pretty well pretty our good. actual town is doing really well we've we're doing lots of improvements and adding on and bringing in a lot of new um just like Everybody has businesses, like I say, everybody has, like, we're like, we just got a Panda Express, you know, because we, we haven't had stuff like that. We've had yeah. to travel, like, we don't have a, a Starbucks. We do not. We don't have a Target. We have a Walmart, like y'all seen, and The only Berkshire's, Walmart in our county. A Berkshire's, and a Berkshire's is like, depending on where you're from, it's like Reezer's. It's a grocery or, store. Or it's like Publix. Some, He's some not going to know what those are in England. Well... You know, it's, I'm telling, like, everybody is listening. It's like the grocery store in Hot Fuzz. Yeah. <laughs> right? Because that Hot makes Fuzz? sense to him. Yeah, because if you've seen Hot Fuzz, what was it, Skinner's? <laughs> yes. Paging Mr. Skinner. Skinner. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it's more the like. Supermarché. That's what Brookshire's is like. Uh, Kroger, Tom Thumb, whatever you want to say. Supermarché. Um, but uh, we don't have a lot of like big conglomerative businesses here in our town. Yeah. And we're starting to get some. A lot of bigger name businesses are starting to kind of look at us a little bit. So, so yeah, I, th I would say the economy is doing mm, pretty, pretty well. Good. We're, yeah, we're at, we're growing. We're growing and we're growing. We're busier than we've ever been at RNA Music, that's for sure. Yeah. Um, say, Instrumental artists or bands with vocalists? <clears throat> Probably bands with vocalists. Yeah. There are, I do like some instrumental artists, but not yeah, very you listen many. To, you can listen to a couple. A couple of guys that you like. Yeah. That have I like um, Nick Johnston, mm -hmm. who has a new record coming out. It's coming out next oh. month, maybe. Is that the one you put in playing all the time in the car? The super chill cinematic guitar stuff? Yes. Yes. <laughs> not the heavy metal brutal stuff. No. That's Jeff Loomis. Yeah, I know. Jeff Loomis is great. So, uh, I love me some Jeff Loomis instrumental stuff. Mm -hmm. Like, he's the one that I'm just like, yeah, that's great. Love it. Uh, also like Nick Johnson. Sort of to like two different spectrums. Right, <laughs> like right. Jeff's super, you know, like metal aggressive. But I don't like Cookie Monster vocals. So I love the guitar playing and the drumming and the bass playing and the musicianship mm -hmm. in that. But I don't like Cookie Monsters. Right. As a rule, uh, I like cookies, yes, but not cookie monsters. Cookie. So uh, I can listen to any of Jeff's instrumental stuff mm -hmm. and um, Nick Johnston's instrumental stuff because Nick's just ridiculous too. It's just like so good, melodic, but has technical chops for days. Um, but those are the only two that I can really sort of listen to like a really long time. Sorry, like I don't really. <laughs> I'm not going to tell Nick Johnston that you were yawning when I was describing his music. Cause he yawny. I said yawny. Yawny. Oh, you like yawny. Instrumental, yeah. You know who yeah. likes some yawny? Paul. Oh. Like a big dork. <laughs> he likes yawny. Yeah. Paul likes yawny because he used to dress like yawny. <laughs> yeah. I think when he was a kid, he secretly wanted to be Yanni, so he had his In clothes, high school. His clothes were I like, just, like Yanni esque. Didn't really go with East Texas small town. Right. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't like, I mean, Steve Vai is amazing. I love watching interviews with Steve Vai when he's talking. Because <laughs> he's got some, you know, some real nuggets of wisdom, and I really think that's awesome. I'm not a huge Joe Satriani fan, even though, like, He's freaking amazing and it's like ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Like so I reckon but I'm like, I just can't sit and listen to a whole Vi album or a whole Satriani album. Um there's a guy, what's his name? He lives in Dallas, who's amazing. Andy Timmons. Andy Timmons is freaking amazing. I and I have one of his records that he autographed when I bought it yes. and he handed it to me, talked to him. Just name all of the all of the artists. Yeah, all of them. They're nice. All of them. But uh <laughs> I can't just listen to all of Andy's C D from beginning to end either. 
Like he's got a couple of songs I can listen to over and over, but mm -hmm. but I, yeah, I just yeah. yeah. All the all the big all the big time big name instrumental guys. I'm like nah. But Nick Johnston and uh, Jeff Loomis. Yeah. Awesome. There you go. Uh, what is Angela's favorite metal band? What's your favorite? It's gonna be only one. <laughs> I know he's like, it's not mega death. get in my brain, get in my, <laughs> you know what you want to say. Uh, oh, Metallica. Yeah. <laughs> it would have to what be. What is everybody's favorite metal band? Yeah. It's Metallica. Yeah. It has to be. Because I honestly don't listen to anything else. I mean, is Led Zeppelin considered metal? No. I wouldn't think Led Zeppelin. They're classic rock, really. Yeah. They're like. Almost new agey rock. <laughs> they're they're hippie rock. They're hippie rock. That would they're, that they're would rock. actually in you know rock category, not metal, but rock. Mm, mm. That would be my favorite rock number band. One, hands down. Number one rock band of all time for you. Yes, Led Zeppelin. I agree with that. That's yeah. fine. Because I can actually listen to a whole entire album and just sit and put it on repeat and just listen. Just listen to it. But favorite metal band. Metallica. Because you can tolerate them the most. Yes. Mm -hmm. I can actually listen to a whole entire album. Like the earlier ones. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not so much the one. What was it with Fuel? That was from Load. Yeah. That's not even a recent one. But yeah. I know. But Up I remember whenever album. that one came out. We were married when that came mm -hmm. out. Black Album is pretty good. From yeah. beginning to end. Mm -hmm. And there was pretty another right. one. I had a couple of songs that I was like, oh, I like that. That's pretty good. Not the recent one. Not a recent one. It's probably like Master it. of Puppets. Yeah, pro yeah probably. Because there's some good tunes But yeah, one. the newest, newest one? Mm -mm. I only like two They're songs. Too hard. I only like two songs off the new record. I was telling someone the other day, like, for their last however many records they've made, I like about two songs. And the cover was too demonic for me. Yeah, all the crazy faces. I'm like, why? <sighs> Just put a big M on there. That's all you need. And a kitty cat. Mm -hmm. It's ridiculous. <laughs> um, there you go, man. I'm glad I'm glad that was the answer to you. Mm -hmm. uh, next question. Timothy Sands. Ryan, is that you in the Sweetwater catalog? I'm going to take that picture. I was like... Oh, my gosh. So, no. Let me, let me talk about this okay. picture real quick. Okay. So, I'm having, like, a deep conversation. I'm in Oklahoma. Whenever, I last, guess, last we, weekend. yeah, because that was like one of the first questions. Yeah, one of the first questions last week. And <clears throat> so I'm in this deep conversation with my friend and then we're like, you know, we're laughing, but we're still having a really, you know, emotional kind of conversation and my phone goes off and it goes off again. And I was like, oh, it's Ryan. And so I asked, he's like, can you go out to the truck and turn to page 33 in the, I think in the Sweetwater catalog and take a picture of it for me? I was like. No, <laughs> because first of all, it's snowing. You didn't text me no, you just didn't answer. I know, I didn't answer because I was laughing. I'm like, does he know it's snowing outside? <laughs> I'm like, it's snowing. There's snow all over the ground. 18 degrees It is snowing. like 9 o'clock in the morning and it's snowing outside. Just and run out to the truck real quick. He's like, run out to the truck. Send and, Aiden to the and truck. Go, and go take a picture of a catalog. I'm like, no. Nah. <laughs> I'm not doing that. So by the time we actually leave and we're loading up, so now it's like noon or one-ish, and I was like, is that kind of long back there? And Aiden's like, yeah, it's back here. I was like, okay, let me go to the page. And, oh, yeah, I could see how somebody would say that that was Ryan at first immediate glance, like if you were just kind of thumbing through it because you see this beard and you see a beanie. Beards and beanies. But if you see this, it looks nothing like Ryan. Like nothing like Ryan. Other than the beard and the beanie, that was it. And But his beard almost like to, to uh, color and yeah. to like the gray and everything. It was almost spot on like your beard. Yeah. Well, see, I'm like... I was yeah, mess Aiden I was like, that dude looks like dad. Yeah. See? <laughs> I was like, I don't... You know, we I had just gotten the catalog. And I just mm -hmm. threw them back to her. I never looked through this catalog. Yeah. Mm -mm. I mean, I get them. Tweetwater sends them to me, but I never look through them. I'm like, eh, you know, mm -hmm. just go online. Catalogs are a waste of money. Right. Because there's the internet. Right. But um, I thought, 
surely if they used my picture, because I have bought things from Sweetwater. Right. Surely if they went and ripped my picture from the internet or from YouTube or from you whatever, they would have asked me, can we, Yeah. you know. Like, so I, I was texting um, Timothy, or not texting, I was, at, I'm like, what page? I'm mm -hmm. like, I don't know. Mm-hmm. So I thought, maybe. I mean, there's lots of pictures of us on the internet, so. Right. You know. <laughs> but he didn't answer, so I was like, what page? Or maybe he did answer. No, he did answer. He's like, page 38, blah, blah, 33. blah, blah, 33. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so he did I answer. Remember. That's how I knew to tell you. Like, hey, can you go? Yeah. Because the, the catalog was in the truck. She was gone. I'm like, I don't have a catalog. And she finally sent me a picture. I'm like, oh, I can see it. It's not me. But I yeah. can see how you would be. I'll, if I can find the picture, I'll... Because it's still back there. Yeah. yeah. The catalog is still in the back of the truck. I haven't even looked at it since yeah. she's been back. But it's not me. But thanks it for asking. Me. It ain't me. Is hey. that you in the catalog? That weren't it me. Isn't me. That weren't me. <laughs> That's a bad song. Sorry. <laughs> Last question. Driddle. Because we were talking about the lottery yes. last week. Or week before that. About you know, winning a million, $40 million or whatever. <laughs> and so Driddle said 40000 Ten thousand dollar guitars, mm -hmm. or four hundred thousand thousand dollar guitars. Oh gosh, that's he a he. lot. Which would you pick? Oh my goodness! How about if I ten thousand dollar guitars? How about I just man. ten thousand dollar guitars? That's something pretty crazy. That's a lot. Of that's ten thousand like, dollar guitars. Is it Jimi Hendrix's guitar that he played the Star Spangled Banner? On? I don't know if there are forty thousand. Ten thousand dollar guitars, guitars in is, existence. <laughs> I don't think there I would are. be very shocked because that is a good number of guitars. That's a lot. That doesn't make them special at all. That's a lot. I'm more likely to believe I mean, you'd that you have there's... to hunt down like the very first guitar or like. There's probably not four hundred thousand thousand dollar guitars. guitar. <laughs> yeah. Mm. I don't think I could have room for forty four hundred thousand guitars. Yeah. That's a, we that's can a build lot. a freaking warehouse though, just for my guitars. Yeah. Like a huge. If you had four hundred thousand just to spit on. If I had a forty thousand square foot guitars, warehouse. Guitars. If you have four hundred thousand dollars to spend on guitars, then yeah, you can probably afford to <laughs> build a building. I could probably to build. House it. I could build a warehouse. And back here is my museum. And here's my ching ching ching. It's like the librarians. Yes. Right? Ching ching ching. This is my yeah. guitar room. Warehouse. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is my guitar warehouse. There's a catalog. Let me go find them. Yes. I'm looking for this one specific guitar. It's yes. back in the back. And I always go buy a new one. Yeah. I'm not going to walk Or you can have here. like an automated thing where you can have like this touch screen and you can, There's like, a robot that pulls it, brings row it to me. J and, you know, 24. And it just like piles over and brings it up to you. <laughs> Takes it off the hook. You know, I, I think honestly though, I have a, I'd have a mixture of ten thousand dollar and one thousand dollar guitars. Mm -hmm. I'm probably more likely to play the thousand dollar guitars. I don't know. Just as you, something about playing a real expensive guitar. It's like, I don't think I want to play it. What if I scratch it? It's like, well, if you scratch it, it's, it's got a scratch on it. Who cares? Right. People don't worry about scratching their five hundred dollar guitar or their thousand dollar guitar. Well, sometimes you do. Mm -hmm. I don't anymore because guitars get scratches. It just happens. Because you can get like, what is that, $4,000, $10,000 guitars? $4,000, $100,000 guitars. <laughs> I'm going to buy all. I'm pretty sure that is not right. All of the 57 and 58 Les Pauls in existence. How about you just buy a company? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'll just start my own guitar company start your own guitar company and then charge ten thousand dollars guitar that's what i would do there we go that's a better answer angela and i like the way you're you like think. your favorite artist <laughs> to play or hold or sign or those guitars oh i just pay them musicians are hooers <laughs> you write them a check they'll be your guitar player in your band hey you want to come work for my company you want to be an endorsed artist we'll give you some money okay because they, they need to buy groceries. 2019! Treat yourself. <laughs> All the artists would be uh, RNA up. guitars artists. Yes. Yeah. Because if you had that kind of cha ching to spread around, if I had that kind of scratch. Rain. Yeah. I just start my own company. <clears throat> you, have, <throat> you have what Ike refers to from Flipside Music in Denver, Colorado as FU money. Ike. <laughs> 
I like FU money. Flipside University money. Yes. You just do whatever the flip you want. Yes. The flip side you want. <laughs> whatever the flip side you want. Yes. I had totally forgotten about Ike until just a second ago. I'm like, shameless he, plugs. He was probably talking about you. He probably was. He's probably he's probably saying <laughs> well, sweet no, things about what us. What is it? Seven o'clock in the morning there. <laughs> he's awake. Are they an hour behind us or two? An hour behind. An hour behind. So it's just eight thirty. It's just eight thirty. He's awake. He's awake. He's drinking coffee and talking to feeding Ange. his dogs. <laughs> feeding and his Dave. dogs. Probably working on his website. <laughs> <laughs> all right that's all the questions for this week um thank you guys so much appreciate all the support and all the uh all the questions and comments yes the comments are piling up i try to go and heart them all <clears> if i can and i try to too try to also try to too. and you know try to comment but th things are ridiculous for us right now super crazy the guitar shop tees tees are hitting the shelves um keep a you look know, out yeah, uh, somebody commented here. I just got my guitar shop tee, and it's the RNA one. And I have to tell you, I saw a picture of it. They not, I sent. They sent me a graphic just like two days ago. Yeah. And the next day, people were getting them. I'm like, wow, that's awesome. I like it. And he said, don't share it yet. Wait till wait till we've made it public. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Apparently, it's showing up in people's doors. Yeah, people are getting them. So right now, go to the guitarshoptees.com website and like, hey, how do I buy this one shirt for March? I don't yeah. care about any other month. But I want March's t-shirt. You want RNA Music's t-shirt. You want That's the R you I want. want the RNA Music t-shirt. How do I get that shirt? And maybe you want the others. I don't know. There's no, probably some cool. Probably really there's cool probably designs. some guitar cool shops, cool guitar shops around the world, yeah. other than us. Right. Probably. Mm. But uh, our shirt is awesome. Debatable. So hopefully we'll get some. I think we will. I think they're gonna send us some. I hope so. That'd be cool. I asked him for talls. He's like, we don't do talls. I was like, can I send you a tall and you print? On it for me and my children who are six foot ten. Yes, right? they're giants. Um, <laughs> anyway, so go check out Guitar Shop Tees right now. See if you can get uh, get the shirt. They're, they're going to be an ad in Guitar World and Guitar Player Magazine for Guitar Shop Tees with our T-shirt. I'm so excited. I'm gonna have to go buy a Guitar World magazine right now. I know. I'm so excited. I don't know what month it is. If it's this month, probably or next. Probably or probably yeah. next month. Probably next month. Yeah, yeah. They're sure. like a month ahead with the Guitar Shop. Yes. Guitar World magazines. I don't yeah. know. It's crazy. Because March has already been out on the yeah on the shelves. March came out last month. Yeah. So I don't know, but I'm gonna have to go buy like five of them. Just like, hey, we're in Guitar World on an ad for someone else. But I know. we're in there. See, what we'll have to do is do a picture, like a framed like Guitar World, the front cover, and then our ad on the side by side frame. Yeah. I don't know how big of an ad it is if it's like this. Who it's cares? Like this. But it's in there. It's in there. That's super that's awesome. All that matters. Yeah, so go check that out. Go check out no, our Teespring no, no, no. if you want to get a shirt directly from us. Inside. Go to our Teespring store. We got hoodies in there still. And yes. Maybe they have, if they I have baseball tees. No, I don't need an RNA hoodie. Yeah, you do. You've I got have, one. I have one. Yeah. We'll see if we can add baseball tees to I need the uh, t shirt. <laughs> to the Teespring store that we have. But yeah, thank you guys so much. Please leave your question for next week below in the comment section. Leave your comment, leave your question, and we'll try to answer them next week. Angela and the boys are away this weekend. Yes. Going again. to Laredo. It's I'm been... tired. So tired. That's three weeks in a row of traveling, right? Yes. Uh, it's hectic. We have a, and we have a hectic rest of the month too, so. Yes. I'll be holding and out next the month. Because next month is my birthday and our ni almost 19 year old's birthday. Oh, two birthdays. Two we have birthdays. a birthday anniversary. Like birthday two. and anniversary this month. Mm -hmm. Like every other weekend. Two birthdays next month. Two. Mm -hmm. Busy. Crazy busy times here. All right, y'all. Well, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, keep the music alive. Don't forget it. Music needs you. And you need the music. We need to keep it alive for the next and current generations and of current. guitar players. Past, <laughs> was it? Past, present, future? Yes. Days. Higher, past, faster, further? Class of futures, past. What was the expression? Days of future, past? Days of future, past. I don't know what even that even, what does that even mean? I don't even know. Can we even say it right? I don't think the X-Men movies are, mm. they've messed everything up. They really do. Alrighty. We saw Captain Marvel last night. Yes. Thoughts? I thought it was amazing. I thought it was pretty good. I did. It was was it my favorite Marvel movie? No. I wouldn't say it was my favorite. Wasn't I think Black Panther top is three. still my favorite. Black Panther. Wakanda forever. Yes, for for sure. But I love that it was 
it was just enough like women empowerment to not be like, suck it, men. I hate that because we need each other. Yeah. <clears throat> but it was just like for her personally. I like that it was just about her personally. It wasn't about like stick it to the man or, you know, anything Dude like that. Dude suck. Yeah. Or, yeah, exactly. Cause, men suck. Because, yeah. I mean, you, people know that she has a relationship with Nick Fury. Yeah. In the thing because he They're texts homies. her at the end of yeah. Infinity War. Infinity War. So, um, so, but I like that dynamic. It was really cute. I really, I really like that part yeah. of it. I thought it was good. There's a lot of drama about it right now. But seeing CGI Samuel Jackson was a little weird. It was kind of strange. I'm like, man, they made him look good. They did. Good and makeup. they did close ups on that CGI Sam. Like, it was weird. Mm. Like, how good it looked. It's to crazy. To the point where I'm thinking, do they CGI him old? Because I know Black don't crack. But he looked Dang. bad in glass. Yeah. He looked old. He but looked sure make haggard. Up. But he could have. Could be makeup Could too. be makeup, you know. Anyways. I don't believe anything anymore. <laughs> it's all I recommend lies. it. There's a lot and of it, drama around it right now. They're saying it's some kind of like, uh, you know, feminist Nazi movie about whatever. I'm like, nah, no. It's good. It's good. It's not even close to being that. Yeah. At all. Yeah. It's as empowering as Wonder Woman was, I think. It yeah, had just, for sure. Just enough. Yeah. But not so much that it's just shoving it down your throat. Right. She was strong enough, but she relied on her friends, too. Yeah. But then she also was strong enough to do what she had to do, because she is Captain freaking Marvel. Yeah. Captain Marvel. You know, she. <laughs> you can only rely on your friends so much, where it's like... So how are, how are somebody's you the gotta strongest be, Somebody's got to be a superhero in this joint. Right. So I liked it. Same thing with Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman did her thing, but she also... Yeah, was like, like she hey. was strong already. And then at the end of the movie, it's like, holy crap, Wonder Woman's like... A bad mimic. She's like super strong. Yeah. Because I think that... And I love that that's kind of been the theme of most um, superhero movies. Because I think that that's a big thing for most people. Is that you really don't know how strong, how cur courageous, how um, resilient you are until you completely step into who you are completely and, and trust that the gift that you have inside of you will, you know, help you completely. And I love that every single one of them had that little bit of waiver and then they were like, wait a second, I'm mm -hmm. amazing. <laughs> And I don't need anybody to give me my props. I can be who I am in entirety and step into that entire... You gave me goosebumps all. <laughs> you know? And I was like, I love that. And Wonder Woman did the same thing. She was like, wait a second. I'm the god killer. <laughs> you know, like... This is who I am. Oh, I'm going to step completely into this. And honestly, I don't think she's ever really tapped into her, her full strength. Of course, yeah. you know, most men won't ride her that way, so... Yeah. All you were saying, I was, I was thinking about Thor, right? I was, I was thinking yeah, about Yeah, Thor like, was the exact like the same whole, way. What are you the god of again? And he's like, it yeah, is this like, little it's epiphany like, moment of like, like that's right. Thunder? Uh, yeah, well, a thunder. Hulk goes through the same thing. He's like, wait a second. You know, I'm always angry. Uh, this is just who I am. Yeah. And he steps into it. Uh, Steve Rogers does the same thing with Captain America. Mm -hmm. He was like, oh, wait a second. I am stronger than, than people yeah. think I am. So yeah, I, they, I they, love that part. Because they can be strong and powerful, you know, like I'm strong. And then they have to really fully embrace it, like, because you have opposition. Mm -hmm. It's always opposition. The opposition mm -hmm. comes first, and then you have to tap yeah. into the, you have to dig deep down. Yes. Go all rocky. Call mm -hmm. down lightning. Yes. And I love movies like that. That gives you that, you know, inner strength that's like, wait a second, I've been built and called and equipped for. For such a time as this, like yeah. like Esther in the Bible would say. Well, I like because the, the, they showed it. Like she, it's not that like she never failed. Mm -mm. Like every situation, they had flashbacks. Like she was failing. She tried to do this. She, she failed. failed. Yes. And they're like, you can't do that. And then she's like, Wait a second. But I survived. I'm gonna show you, mother junker. And I got up. She got back up and tried oh, again. Oh man, that part right there got was back like, up, <gasps> tried again. Oh my gosh. Got back up, tried again. That was so amazing. I wanted to be like, shake my children. Do you see that? This was what I've been trying to tell you your whole life. Just, Just life, get up. Life will knock you down. Yes. Other people will and knock you, you will down. And you will fail. And people will laugh at you while you got knocked down and tell you yes. you can't do it. 
I said. You know, people Ooh. you look up to will tell you that. People who you've depended on, but it's not about them. It's not about their expectations of you. It's about your own expectations of yourself and whether or not you can do this. I've told my vocal students this before. Your voice is only as good as you think your voice can be. If you think your voice isn't going to reach that note, then it will never reach that note because your brain it has the power to tell yourself when to stop, to tell yourself when you're not good enough. And you have that power to say, wait a second, I can do it. If they can do it, why can't I? You yeah. know, Your subconscious you, mind will, will shut you down. It will shut you down fast. So conditioning yourself to say, I can do this. I'm able to do this. I, yeah, it might, it might take some time. It might take some practice. It might take some consistency. It might take some training and purposeful training. But I can work. I can do this. If I put set my mind to it, I can do this. Because, I mean, the world is a huge example of everything that we've ever seen from the skyscrapers to bridges to national monuments to statues to electricity to planes to cars. We, all, we see this every single day that once somebody put it in their mind and they say, I can do this. It has been accomplished. So the only person, the only thing that can stop you is yourself. Ooh, that's deep. But it's true. It's so true. So, uh, Captain Marvel? I loved it. Two thumbs up. It was cute. It was fun. There wasn't any, like, nudity and just ridiculous, like, nasty humor so little kids can see it. And if there was... A little bit of swearing. A little bit of swearing, but, you know, I'm sure they hear enough of that at home. Probably. So, (laughs) So it's, you know, enough for the adults to be like, oh, I really like that. And the kids go, oh, so cool. I liked it. And enough humor in it to keep it light where you weren't, like, completely depressed that these things were happening to these people. Certain yeah. things were happening. So I liked it a lot. Yeah. It was good. Go see it. That's kind of what I thought I was telling somebody yesterday. I'm like, yeah, Brie Larson, the actress, has said stuff like at mm-hmm. publicity things that people kind of like, wow, she's being really whatever and, mm-hmm. you know, white men suck and 40 year olds shouldn't watch my movie kind of stuff. And I'm like, yeah, but that's her saying that stuff. Marvel is not going to screw up their own movies. No. They are way smarter than, you know, Right. They're way smarter than what Star Wars has been doing. Right. <laughs> they have a much better track record than the most recent Star Wars movies. Right. So I think the, the, the hoopla has been blown out of proportion. It's probably the actress. Her, she's putting her own foot in her mouth. Yeah. But the movie itself. But I think that it's honestly, great. it's probably just a defense mechanism for her yeah. because she, because whenever there is a strong female character, there's always that male to kind of soften her a little bit that she, you know, that's like almost like her Achilles. So having someone who doesn't have one, she doesn't have a male that she's in love with. She doesn't have, you know, someone that she's like swooning over. Like even Wonder Woman had to have a sex scene with Steve Rod, you know, Steve Rogers, with Steve Captain Rogers, America. with Captain America, but not really. Sense. Um, but it was like, you Captain know, Kirk. So it, so even they did that to a goddess. I mean, she is literally like not human. Yeah. <laughs> you She's know? not a human. She's not human. And um, they, they had to do that to her. So I can see where she was already, the actress was already, you know. Kind of ready to fight. Ready ready to fight. Like she was a, Preemptively. She was a junkyard dog. Like I think she went in swinging because she was prepared because yeah. people were ugly. Like they destroyed that girl from Star Wars. Yeah. Rose, who played Rose. Oh, I thought you were talking about Ray. Well, yeah, not as much because Ray went on to do other things and kept on going. Yeah. But well, she's got that a girl who did Rose, she like took down her Twitter page and like they destroyed her. Like people, 40 year old men <laughs> destroyed her. So I understand like she's like, listen, I'm going to defend myself and I'll, I will take you down. Yeah. You know, which kind of represents Captain Marvel a little bit. Like, yeah, was, you know what? Suck very, it. Before. I don't care what you think. <laughs> I don't. Forty-year-old white dude. Right. I don't need you because I know there's going to be plenty of women and plenty of people who are going to support me. That I don't need. Yeah. You know, someone living in their mama's basement. Well, and like those girls from Star <laughs> Wars. That validify. Like the actresses. Like it's not <laughs> their fault. That the roles were That the sucky. script was stupid. Right. Like we're not it's not them as people that people right. are mad about. I'm not mad at the girl Daisy Ridley. Yeah. It's like people aren't people don't hate her. No. They hate the, the story writing. that was written for her. Right. And the character that she played 
We hate the way the character was written. Right. And, but people get all emotional about fiction. All fired up about fiction. You know I, mean, I mean, so let me take you know. put my glasses on. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> I thought it was great. We should definitely go it see was. it. It was good. It's got Sam Jackson in it. Yeah. And a cat. Colson's in it. Colson. Oh, it's it's shield in the past. Shield in the past. Past shield. It's not future shield. It's no. past shield. The only thing that I really didn't like was there's no Thor cameo. <laughs> That's the, my biggest oh complaint my is there's not enough Thor right. in this Captain Marvel movie. We'll see what she does in Endgame though. I'm I'm, re I'm ready for Endgame though. Right. Let's go to the Endgame. Mm -hmm. I'm ready for that to happen. And I hope it doesn't make me really mad. Yeah. So yeah. far, Marvel's done Nicholas a really good job. Like, I don't want him to end. <laughs> he, did, he did. He was like, I don't want to see this. The only reason why he didn't want to see Captain Marvel is because he knew it was one step closer to everything the end. ending. Well. Not everything. Just these. The next phase yeah, of Marvel movies. The gener next generation is going to start popping up. Probably not going to be any more, you know. Thor, Captain America, or yeah, no more Chris yeah. Hemsworth, no, no more Chris Iron Evans, Man. no more, you know. No more Iron Man as Iron Man, but I'm pretty sure Tony Stark will make some. Make some little cameos. He'll end up being, um. Stanley. Stanley's thing where he's like kind of in it, not in it, you know. And there's a nice tribute to Stanley in this movie, oh too. Oh my gosh. So let's just say that. That's, it's worth going to see it just for that. Yeah. RNA Music, <laughs> movie reviewers, errs. Yes. So go check it out. We should have a whole another section. <laughs> like a whole yeah. set of videos. Well, it's real popular now. There's a lot of hype about it. So we get a bunch of views if we talk about Captain Marvel. Oh, yeah. So. You just have to wait to the end. To, yeah. To talk well, I'll about put it in the timestamps. Captain Marvel discussion at the end. There you go. Go so see y'all ain't going to complain. All right. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Yes. I got to go home. We got to go. Pick up the truck. Get ready to go to Laredo. <laughs> well, you do. Yeah. <laughs> I got to get ready to go to work. I have to crochet. Go home yeah. and crochet. All right, y'all. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.